Hi, my name is Nick Wise and I'm an agent in Victoria, BC with Newport Realty. Join us for this episode as we explore Oak Bay. Uh, hi, I'm Erica. And I'm Graham. We have two kids uh, and a dog. The dog's the most recent fixture in our house and uh, has caused a bit of chaos. Griff, their very lively dog, needs a lot of exercise. Due to Griff's needs and their two active kids, the Taylors would like a house with a larger yard. Graham and Erica currently live in the district of Oak Bay and are looking to stay there. Oak Bay is one of the oldest municipalities on Vancouver Island. Bordering the Pacific Ocean, Oak Bay is known for its many heritage homes, water views, and small community charm. These attributes make it a very attractive and safe place for families to live. With many homes in the area listed over $1 million, Oak Bay is considered one of the more affluent neighborhoods in Victoria. In these neighborhoods, you'll find a real mix from young families just starting out to some single old ladies who have been in their homes since 1955. It's a total mix and uh, I think what separates this area from a lot of the other parts of the cities is there's a real sense of community and neighborliness. You know, we like the open concept, but we like the main floor that you spend probably about 90% of your time at um, to have the most square footage on. That's one of the things that we've liked. We've got a radius that we want to live within that we're within walking distance to um, the beach or the water parks and also prox close proximity to uh, our jobs. One of the things that the kids have said is they, uh, they miss having a little bit more yard, so that's one thing that we, we would want to look for, for sure. Three is certainly the minimum, but uh, more is an option too. We like to have friends over a lot, and so having a great kitchen, dining room space that we can um, uh, you know, mingle, have dinner. The Taylors seem very open to different types of homes. I think that something that's in very good move-in ready condition is important but it doesn't necessarily matter whether it's brand new or whether it's old and has been restored. These areas have been built out over the last hundred years or so, and there's a real mix of homes. Price range, I guess we're looking for something in between a million and maybe 1.3. Yeah. Welcome back to Oak Bay. Our buyers, Graham and Erica, are looking for an open concept home in Oak Bay where they can be close to the water and downtown with a larger yard, three or more bedrooms, and a great kitchen and dining space. All for under $1.3 million. When buying an older home, there are many things to consider, including what used to be on your property before any upgrades. BC Hazmat management owner Dave Rogers tells us about a potential problem homes in this area could face. It's important to know if you have an underground oil tank and it's important that if you do have an underground oil tank and it's decommissioned that it be taken out of the ground. Oil tanks rust and corrode over time, which means the remaining oil will leak into the ground, which can cause environmental damage. The BC Fire Code dictates the removal of all buried oil tanks not used in two or more years. Most people have upgraded their heating systems and these tanks are not being used. You're going to find that, especially on the lower island here, that there's going to be thousands of tanks, particularly houses built in the 40s and 50s. What we do when we arrive at a property that uh, we're going to use a ground penetrating radar on is we're going to do a walk around first, either indents in the uh, property or visual sign against the side of the house where a vent pipe might have been. So then we would set up the, uh, the grid in the property and their 24 inch grid uh, crisscross uh, so that we run the uh, ground penetrating radar. Uh, both uh, north and south and east and west. From that we can find pipes, we can find tanks, and it will tell us not only where it is, it will tell us the depth of it. To remove it, an underground tank that is not leaking is only in the range of a few thousand dollars. However, once they leak, most inexpensive one was about $48,000 last year, and the more expensive one is well over a million dollars now. 
we're back in Oak Bay at our first house, which is a partially updated heritage home built in 1932. This 3,700 square foot home sits on an almost half acre lot with views of the ocean, something that's very important to the Taylors. Listed at 1.6 million, this house could be a great option. Come on in guys. Let's take a look in directly into the dining room. This is nice. Good entertainment size. Yeah, the windows are nice. I like the beautiful oak floors. They're in really nice shape. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Oh, Mom, look at the fireplace. Wow. This was all just redone two years ago. Everything that you see is brand new. Great appliance package, natural gas stove. And from here, you can actually even see the ocean. Yeah, it's really nice, really natural light. And when was the kitchen redone? Just two years ago. It's all in basically new condition. Have a look. It comes with its own built-in timeout seat <laughs> laid off the kitchen where you can keep an eye on him and he can't get into any trouble try, at all. Try it out. Check it out. <laughs> it's a perfect fit. That's so funny. <laughs> Got a lovely guest bedroom. That's nice. And a full bathroom. Oh, wow. And right through here, we've got a great main floor den. We've got a fireplace, French doors to the nice, beautiful backyard. Check this out. Secret cabinet. Wow. Do you think there's any treasures in there? Look at that, Heath. That's awesome. You get lots of nice character in these old homes. Yeah. So I know one of the things that you guys have said is that your current yard is a little bit lacking for outdoor space. Yeah. What do you think about this? This is good. I love We've it. We've got a, nearly a half acre here. It's a great backyard. Great backyard. You play soccer back here, huh? You yeah, could, it's good. Trampoline. You could build in a skating rink. I thought you were going to say swimming pool. <laughs> Either but works. It's melt. So just build a room. Okay. With your cash. <laughs> Look at the size of this room. This is nice, this is nice and bright. Great for entertaining. It's got a natural gas fireplace. Nice open staircase. Yep. All wood. Oh, it's a nice size room. Yeah, small closets in the old houses though, eh? And just over here, right next door, we've got the second bedroom. Just across the hallway here, we've got a master bedroom. Oh, this is a nice room. Very nice. Yeah, taller ceilings. Yeah. Houses of this vintage typically didn't have a master suite. The owners of this home have actually built a dormer addition onto the back here. So they were able to get a full ensuite bathroom, large shower with a separate tub, and lots of space. Yeah, I like the space, but definitely we want to upgrade it a bit. But there's also a nice sized walk-in closet. Yeah, it might work for you. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to put your clothes. <laughs> That's a recurring problem. <laughs> Down here, we've got a partially finished basement. As the kids get older, this is a good place for them to be banished with their loud friends. So over here, you can see all the mechanical systems of the house. We've got a natural gas boiler, natural gas hot water tank. Typical of the time, they didn't insulate this. So I'm a little bit concerned with how much it's gonna to cost to keep this house warm. Some really nice things overall. I think the kitchen, you know, obviously they put a lot of investment into the kitchen. I'm a little concerned about the mechanical and the electrical aspects of the house. I, I think that's a lot of work that needs to be done and, and looked at carefully. It had the timeout seat too, that was perfect. The timeout seat, yeah. It's called the Heath seat. You know, when we see this house and the number of upgrades and some uncertainty around the insulation and, and the historical upgrades, it definitely is a concern. A lot of these big older homes, the owners have upgraded one thing or the other. It's a little bit rare to find a situation where someone has come in and done the whole house. So it's quite typical to find an amazing kitchen with a quite dated bathroom. At the end of the day, when you people walk into the right home, it feels right. And I, my sense is, despite all of the pieces really being here, it just wasn't quite a perfect fit. The house is great, but I just really want a tire swing. Okay. okay. <laughs> Many older homes can have heating problems, including air leaks. Trevor and Carrie from Inspect Tech give us the lowdown. So looking at the bottom of the door here, we can see air leakage. All this blue and the dark blue is cold air coming in at the bottom of the door. We don't necessarily need these cameras to feel it too. We can just stick our hands down below here and we can feel a ton of air rushing through here. This fireplace here is probably used a lot in the morning. A lot of this heat's just being sucked right out this door. So weather stripping the door, replacing the door would, would have huge savings on the energy efficiency of the home. Here we have one of the original heaters, hot water radiators for the home. The house is 80 years old and it's always been hot water heat. 
Um, they've upgraded the boiler downstairs, but we still have the original heaters, and, and they're very effective. But now we have interior and exterior thermostatic control systems that can be much more effective in controlling the amount of energy that's consumed to heat rooms. And by simply adapting this heater with an electronic box and valve on the end can also be another way that people can reduce heating costs and have more effective heat control over the building. Welcome back to Oak Bay. Next up on our agenda is a very large house in the heart of Oak Bay. Measuring in at over 7,000 square feet, this is a lot of house for the Taylor family to look through. Built in 1908, the house has been entirely renovated. However, it's way over their budget at $2.4 million. So come on in. Ooh, this is nice. Absolutely, wow. quite the reception hall. Look at the floors, very nice. Yeah, brand new walnut floors. This house has some grandeur. Just to our right is the den. I know one of the things that you guys are thinking about is the amount of maintenance and updating required. This house, while being 100 years old, totally redone mechanically, inside and outside. It's effectively new. So we could walk off the main hallway into this grand living room. Wow. High ceilings, yet another fireplace. And off the living room, I'm struggling for the words to describe what this room is for there. It's a reading room. Reading room, we'll go with that. Yeah. All nice thermal windows, lots of lovely light in here. Yeah, it's very nice, great views out the back. Yeah. yeah, you can see the ocean and a bit of the mountains. And off the living room here, we've got a grand dining room. Fireplace number three. Very nice. nice. And lots of room for the big family dinners. This has incredible uh, natural light, it's really nice. Let's have a look at the sunroom. It's an interesting room. There's glass on all four sides. So from either the reading room or from the sunroom, you've got access to this great size entertaining terrace overlooking the water, the mountains, and the treetops and rooftops of Oak Bay. And off the sunroom, it's a private family room. This is great. Love the high ceilings. Yeah. yeah the ceilings really are dramatic. And just up these stairs, it's a fantastic entertaining kitchen. Wow, very wow. nice. Yeah, this is a nice room. Nice kitchen. I think that you could do some good uh, family meals and entertaining in here. This is great. Ah, the bar area. Perfect. It's a mini kitchen with, ev with mini things. This is a little bit of heaven. It's got a nice open staircase. And up we go. So from the landing here, there's a full bathroom just up these stairs. But we'll start over here. This is my bedroom. It's got high ceilings, two windows, two closets. I know in the last house, you guys were kind of fighting over who would get the bigger one. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that in this place. No, I would like I this think one. So. I would okay. like this one. Okay, and then you're gonna just have to wait till you see something else. Or I might change my mind. So Lyndon, would this work for you? Yeah, totally. Skylight, big closet, and you can see the ocean as well. Yeah, this would be Lyndon's. Official Lyndon's. And then here's the master. Oh, it's huge. That's a skylight, hey? There's a skylight for you, yeah. Own fireplace. Yeah. So we've got a great walk-in closet and then a large master ensuite. Separate tub, water closet, and a shower, as well as the two sinks that everyone's looking for these days. Very nice, and a chandelier in the what bathroom. What is that? It's a bidet. You know what that's for, Heath? Washing your butt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a really nice bathroom. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Most houses are a little short on storage, but in this house, we've got the cavern. Wow. It looks to me like they've got some potential for water to come in here over the rocks but they've addressed it by building this curb to conduct the water into some drainage hole somewhere. Yeah. But could I climb this right now? No. And we can go back through here into the rest of the basement. Wow. So down here, we've got another living room or family room. It's got its own kitchen, full kitchen right here. Awesome. If we go around the corner here, you can see that they've really done everything as far as the systems go from the ground up, all new. Hot water on demand, Top of the line hot water tank. Pretty much everything you could ask for mechanically in a house has been done here. This is a very spectacular house. It's, everything is big about it. Oh, I like the rooms a lot, how they're designed. Yeah. yeah, the top floor had a nice setup for us. Like it, it would work really well. Yeah, and it really nice views from up there as well. The problem I think with this house for them is I think that there would be rooms that were like museums that they would just never walk into. I think it's a little more house than what we need for our family right now. Could we buy this house one day? This 100-year-old house has been entirely upgraded. But with a house this size, does that mean it's entirely energy efficient? 
Inspect Tech experts Trevor and Carrie give us the bigger picture. They have one of the more sophisticated heating systems that I've ever seen in any house in Victoria. All the heat comes from this little box here. It's a, uh, a commercial grade, <coughs> on-demand, uh, condensing, high-efficiency gas-fired uh, boiler. Quite energy efficient. The cost of this system would be somewhere between eighty and hundred thousand dollars, and um, will last the life of the building. When you look around the chimney here, we can see there's actually a large amount of air leakage coming down the side of the chimney. Some air sealing needs to be done around the chimney. You know, very inexpensive fix, but it uh, goes a long way as far as operation costs and also by air sealing, you're avoiding any cold air coming down the chimney. The last house on our search takes us outside of Oak Bay and into Victoria. This brand new home is quite a ways away from the ocean that's so important to the Taylors, but its contemporary design is the style they've been searching for. Measuring in at 3,200 square feet, this home is listed at just over $1.1 million. Come on in, guys. Thanks. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Hey, this is very nice. Yeah, we've run the gamut from original condition character homes to substantially renovated character homes. And now we're right, right up to, this house was just finished yesterday. Wow. Wow. So this is the living room, lots of built-in shelving. Yeah. There's a natural gas fireplace. Very, very nice. Built-ins are nice. Yeah. Nine foot ceilings on this level. I really like this feature wall. So from the living room, we can walk back here to uh, kitchen, dining room, and family space. All open concept. Wow. Yeah, this is nice space, really nice space. I love this, uh, this wall piece here as you come through. Yeah, they did the uh, appliances to blend in with the cabinetry with the walnut veneer there, and the dishwasher is panel matched as well. Large double sink, and then you've got a dining space and a family room here with another large built-in cabinet. And yeah, it leads out to a patio? Yeah, a little patio there for entertaining. There's a barbecue connection. Great staircase. Yeah, skylight at the top, lots of natural light. So just down here, we've got a very large child's room. Got a large window, big closet, and lots of room for them to spread out to put all their stuff. Yeah, that's a good size room for them. Yeah, really nice. I like that the wood floors are running throughout the home too. It's nice. Yeah, I think a lot of people are moving away from carpet these days. It's just a little bit harder to keep clean. Right next door, we've got another larger bedroom. Wow, nice large full closet size. as well. Yeah, which is great. Quite often the kids' rooms just have the small closets. That's right. Yeah. And then right into the master bedroom. It's a nice size room. I love the view out the window here into the oak meadow. I think it's just uh, spectacular. I like the little window up top too. Yeah, it just lets in light but maintains the privacy. And we've got a closet just over here. A little small though. It is a little small. Well, Erica, that was just the his closet. Oh. Let's have a look over here. Oh, now you're talking. That's, that's more what you were looking for. <laughs> this isn't is what it? I was looking for. I may never see this closet. Graham, there's really no need for you to come in here. I might move in here. <laughs> Let's have a look at the ensuite. Wow, this is nice. Got the double sinks, the large soaker tub, the frameless glass shower. Nice big shower too, yeah. right? Lots of space, that's good. Down to the basement. To this side, we've got a sound insulated uh, media room or family room, which is intended to be used for the upper portion of the house. You'll notice this door actually has weather stripping and a deadbolt lock. Yep. So this is intended to be uh, an optional legal one bedroom basement suite. Oh. Okay. Or, you know, depending on your family situation, it's just an extra place with a second kitchen if you like. Full bathroom. It's a good design. Flexible space either way, right? Whether yeah. you want the suite or whether you want the whole space. I think the house is very nice. They did a really, really good job. Um, Kitchen's nice. I think the layout is a you know, benefit of new construction. Like the layouts are really nice, open, kind of high ceilings. Um, yeah, in terms of design, this is probably the nicest design of the three that we saw. Part of the challenge is finding a new home in the area that they are targeting is very challenging. Most of that area was developed uh, 50 to 100 years ago and there simply is very little new home inventory in those areas. And in particular, there are a few new homes that really met their needs for uh, layout and size as well as price point. My sense is just with their lifestyle and activities that they're involved in and their children's school that we're a little bit too far from the area where they, they are comfortable but I think that they will definitely have to put some thought into this house. So the only challenge I think is the location for us. Um, perfect house, not sure if it's the best location for where we wanna be with the kids and some of our activities, the stuff we wanna do. Otherwise, I mean, it's a beautiful home for sure. 
This is the newest house we've seen, but even newer builds can be losing heat. Inspect Tech experts Trevor and Kerry have some cool tips for limiting heat loss. Here we have a high efficiency gas fired forced air furnace. Um, one of the big advantages of the newer high efficiency furnaces that we're seeing now is they're so effective at keeping heat in the building. So little heat is lost up the chimney that it doesn't even require a brick or metal chimney flue. PVC plastic will do nicely and uh, it just um, speaks to how effective these things are in, um, in keeping heat inside the building. Okay, so now we're going to run this blower door test. It creates negative pressure. Uh, depressurizes the house and anywhere there's a draft we're going to be able to feel that either with this thermal imaging camera or even by the back of our hand we should be able to feel any major air drafts. So here we can feel quite distinctly quite a cold draft around a closed door and of course it's, it's even weather stripped so it should have a gasket and sealed but nonetheless we're getting a pretty good draft and again you can see that distinctive profile where um, showing the draft coming in. So even though there's weather stripping on the door, it can be adjusted to get a better fit and reduce uh, a, a fairly measurable draft at this point. Graham and Erica saw two homes in their much-loved area of Oak Bay and one in Victoria. Did any of the three seem like the one? So, Erica and Graham, we had a chance to get around town a little bit. We looked at three different houses. I'm just wondering what your thoughts are having seen that those properties. Um, in terms of one that we could rule out, it would probably be the first one in terms of how much work was involved with that. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the second house, the huge house that we saw? Well, it's a beautiful house, um, but I don't think we need our family, our extended family moving in with us. It's okay. probably a little bigger house than what we actually need. Okay. So I noticed that your son had a particular feature that was of appeal to him. Right, the bidet. Butt washer in eight-year-old speak. <laughs> I don't know that that really fits your lifestyle, but... I don't know if he would use it is the problem, but... <laughs> hey, anything to keep an eight-year-old boy clean. <laughs> yes. And what do you think about the third house? That was the brand new one. A little bit of a different neighborhood than what you had mentioned to me. I liked almost every aspect of that house in terms of the color and the, the brightness. The layout was great. I think it suits our um, family and age of family, size of family. I have a feeling that that walk-in closet is going to be stuck in your the memory for a while. <laughs> walk-in closet was great, yes. Yeah. So I think the only question for us was the location of it. Location matters, so that's that's pretty important to us. Do you think that it, maybe it's a good idea to, to kind of extend the search here and keep looking? Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's the, that's a good plan. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think that's the best choice to make. Thanks great. for Thanks for everything. Absolutely, yeah. thank you. Thank you.